All right. Till this lecture in this section, we have learned different features and types of big O. Now in this lecture, we will look at how to measure the time complexity of codes using big O. To make our lives easier, I have created a list of rules which will help you when you analyze any code. In the resource section of this lecture, you can find a PDF version of these rules. Okay, let's look at what these rules are. In this list, the first rule is any assignment statements and if statements that are executed once regardless of size of the problem take complexity of one. And the second rule says that a simple loop from zero to n with no internal loops takes O n time complexity, which is linear time complexity. Then the third rule is a nested loop of same type takes quadratic time complexity, which means that if we have any loop inside another loop, it will take quadratic time complexity, which is O n squared. And the fourth rule is a loop in which controlling parameter is divided by two at each step takes logarithmic time complexity. And finally, when dealing a multiple statements, we just need to add them up. This set of rules will help us to examine any given code and measure the code. You should be warned that some declarations may include initializations and some of these may be complex enough to factor in the efficiency of algorithm. So these are the most common rules that you need when you analyze any given code. Okay, now let's rule them all in one example. So here we will look at an iterative algorithm in which we need to find the biggest number inside a given array. Let's imagine that we have an array which consists of million elements. A method to find the biggest number in a given array will be something like this in Python. Here the method takes this sample array as an input and then we declare a variable and assign this variable the first element of this list. Then we create a loop which starts from the second element till the last element of array. And inside loop, we check if the current element's value is bigger than the biggest number and then we assign that element's value to the biggest number. And then we continue to the next element of array and doing the same operations that is inside loop. And this loop continues until it reaches the last element. Once the loop terminates, we print out the biggest number. So this is a simple method which finds the biggest number in the array. And the question is how we can measure this method using big O. So we need to analyze each part of this code separately based on the rules that we provided here. And then we will add all of them. Okay, let's analyze this code. The first line here is assigning a value. So according to our first rule, the time complexity of assigning a value to a variable is O1. Then we continue to the second line of this code. Here we created loop. So according to the second rule, loop takes linear time complexity, which means that here it takes O n time complexity. Then inside loop, we have if condition. And again, the first rule says that if statements take constant time complexity, and which means that if condition over here will take complexity of O1. Then again, we have an assignment here. This will also take O1 according to our first rule. Then finally, we have a print statement here, which takes constant time complexity as well. Now we need to sum up these complexities together. First, we will start from here. The sum of these two time complexity will give us O1, because when you sum up these, it will be 2O1, then we can uh, remove constant from here and we will get O1. Then we will sum up ON with O1 and from here we will get ON. Because from previous lectures we know that we can drop non-dominant terms from a time complexity. So here O1 is non-dominant term. The dominant term here is ON. 
So the result from here we will get OM. So at the end, we need to sum up this three time complexity here. So if we sum up these time complexities, we again remove non-dominant terms from here. We have two non-dominant terms here, which is O1 over here and O1 over here. So we are removing this one, we are getting ON. So this is all for this lecture. Hopefully you understand the concept and with the help of these rules, you can measure any given code. As I mentioned before, I have attached PDF version of these rules in this lecture's resources. So you can download it and print it out. And when you analyze any code, you can use these rules.